Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and as you can see we're in the R34, it is back. I've just uh, come out to take a few photos of the car so I thought I'd use this opportunity to give you guys an update on what's been happening with it and what plans are going forward. So there's been a few bits and pieces happening with the car, it's been on the dyno which is good so we will be going over the power figures today and what, what the uh, dyno results mean and what, what the plans are for the car going forward but in the meantime as you can see the wing is back on. So even though the wing's been put on, unfortunately, we've had a few issues getting the rear spats to fit. So they're all painted and ready to go on, but unfortunately, they don't quite match up. So we're going to have to do something fancy to actually get them to fit. I'll put an image up on the screen of exactly what I mean. Uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's getting, them to, getting them to fit is a bit of a pain. It's been despoiled for far too long. Uh, it's been being painted. It's also got the carbon fibre extended legs been put on. So without further ado, let's go and check that out because it looks absolutely sick. I'm so happy with it. Cue the B-roll. So as you've just seen from those clips, I think you'll agree, it looks 10 times better. It's a bit of a shame about not getting the spats on. Uh, as I just mentioned, but oh, the wing looks, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. it just as such a small detail, makes a huge difference. So as I mentioned earlier, the, the car has been on the dyno. It's been down to engine tuner. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a huge amount of footage down there, partly because it was massively rushed, uh, but also because they've got a few restrictions going on with the COVID-19 stuff. So getting in, in and around was uh, not the easiest thing in the world. However, this is what happened when I went down to engine tuner to get the R34 on the dyno. So as you can see, Martin's just getting the car on the dyno. If you're uh, if you're wondering where the wing's gone, it's not gone forever. Um, it's being painted at the moment, so it looks a bit weird uh, without it. But yeah, it will be going back on with some extra carbon fibre bits as well. So problem number one, Martin can actually get the bike open. So yeah, it's not actually gone on the dyno yet. <laughs> That's it, we're all done on the dyno. Um, Ben's just dropping around the front for me. And then we'll go through the power figures and what we what came out of the dyno run. God, it looks so weird without the wing. So weird. That's going back on soon. Let me know what you think though. It actually looks a bit better than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. So we finished down at Engine Tuna and I've just parked up to uh, just run through the results of the, of the dyno run. So, Good news is it made the power that I thought it was going to make, so that's that's excellent. Uh, and we fixed all the boost leaks, it seems like, so that's that's even better news. Uh, Martin, uh, the guy that ran the dyno, did say that the fuel pump's kind of struggling a bit, which I was going to replace anyway, so that's that's fine. Uh, it's running a little bit lean, but other than that, all uh, all positive, all, all all really good. So it made 323 at crank, so if you can see that. Um, and what, around about 250 pound feet of torque, I think that is. So, so that's not bad. So that gives us quite a nice platform to, to start doing the performance mods on. So this is where I need your guys' help. So I'm in two minds. We can either start doing performance upgrades and, you know, bigger turbo, injectors, go for sort of 500 brake around that mark, or we can finish it off looking, making it look an absolute dream. So making it look like a proper R34, you know, go all out, carbon fibre bits, the lot. So let me know what you think in the comments, because I'm, I'm split down the middle. I can't, I can't actually decide what I want to do with it just, just in the short term. So all of it will get done at some point, but what would you guys prefer to see? So I've actually got quite a uh, sizable purchase coming up soon, which I'm super excited about. I'm not going to re reveal what that is just yet, but do try and guess and let me know in the comments what you think I might be purchasing for the car next. But it's it's definitely uh, a reasonably big purchase, so we should we say, for me at least, anyway. <laughs> so so that hopefully that's going to come in the next couple of weeks, uh, two to three weeks, something like that. We'll do a video of getting that fitted, whatever it is that I'm ordering, and uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna be gonna be brilliant for the car. So I'm, I'm super excited for that. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very brief update on the car, what's been going on with it. It's been a bit difficult to get things done uh, just because there's been delays with stuff uh, and yeah, various bits and pieces going on. However, I think you'll agree the car looks a lot better now with the wing on or with the, with the higher wing on, should I say. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited for that next purchase that's coming up and plenty more planned for the car this year. So if you did like this video, guys, hit the like button below. And if you want to see more videos on the R34, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's plenty more to come on that. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, cheers.